Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the Big Mario Land channel. In today's video, I want to show how to install MultiMC and set it up. MultiMC is an alternative launcher to the default Minecraft launcher that allows you to stay more organized, as you can see right here. It will also allow you to download other versions that aren't uh, that aren't only accessible in the default launcher. Alright, okay, so what you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description and you want to click the download button uh, for the corresponding uh, of your corresponding operating system. Mine is Windows, I'm going to click download. I've already downloaded it, so I don't need to download it again. So, uh, I personally use MultiMC for beta uh, jar modding, since Fabric and Forge weren't really a thing back then. Uh, jar modding is where you directly modify the game files uh, to make a mod for it. Instead of using something like Forge or Fabric, you just directly modify the jar files. That's what jar modding is, and using this makes jar modding a lot easier. Okay, so from here you want to open the zip file with something like WinRAR or 7-Zip, then you want to drag and drop it onto your desktop or wherever you want to put it. From here you want to double click on it, you want to go to MultiMC or EXE, you want to double click on it, select your, uh, select your language, I'm just going to select British English. Then select the uh, select your Java. You do have to install Java 8. You're gonna have to go to Java.com for this. Right here. You have to download this specific version. And then if you don't have it installed, you have to go to that website, install it, and then reload MultiMT. Uh, but if you already have it installed, which I would think you already have since you're on Minecraft, I'm gonna click next, click finish, and here we are. You want to go over to profiles. If you want to actually play the game, well, you do actually have multi MC running, but you now you want to uh, add an account so you can actually play it. Once you have added an account, you can play offline mode, and offline mode does not mean that you can't join servers. It just means that you can select whatever username you want, and it's an insecure account. Okay, so uh, insecure accounts were used back in the day on old Minecraft servers because it was hard to verify the legitimacy of a of an account. Uh, but this, they can still be used now if you want to run an alternative username for, for no apparent reason. So, you know, want to go to Profiles, go to Manage Accounts. And depending on what account you have, you want to click Add Microsoft or Add Mojang. I'm going to be using Add Microsoft. Then it'll tell you to open up this link and, and copy and paste this code. So you want to open up the link. You want to paste it. Uh, right, I'm going to skip ahead until I've signed in. Uh, Actually, I'm gonna skip ahead and when I'm back, I will be signed in. Because, you know, I don't want to be getting my personal information. <laughs> I'm gonna borrow time about this because it's you know, my email and I don't like it, and I don't like people emailing me. <laughs> It'll tell you if you want to let this application access your info. If if your email that you use for your uh, Minecraft account is linked to a Xbox account, you may be worried because you might lose everything. Uh, just as a quick heads up, you will not lose any information. This is a secure application and it's uh, quite trusted. I've been using it for years and trust me, it's... It's fine. It's like letting a Discord bot access your account so it can uh, join your server. So, what you want to do is you want to click yes. And then you want to close the window. You want to go back over to MultiMC, give it a second and it'll log in. Click close and now you're done. I'm going to change the dark theme because you know it looks nice. And now you are done. You've successfully set up multi MC5. So, if you want to actually add an instance, which means you can actually uh, play the game, you want to click Add Instance. Select the version you want. I'm going to select a random old version because I'm mod. Uh, that one. Well, why not? And you can click this button over here to change the icon. I'm going to change it to an Nman. Made a 1.3. Yeah, sure, why not? From here, you want to double click on it. And if you want to play it offline mode, you're gonna first you're gonna have to first open up the version in online mode. So download the correct files from the from Mojang.com, and then you want to log in as an offline account. So I'll give you a quick example. I will boot up the game. Give it a second. And we are now logged in as a uh, as my main account, pick me and my mom. Now if you want to change it, I'm going to click launch offline, select the username, because I can put 
whatever you want, you can select fucking. I can, I can give myself the edgiest Xbox name ever. I can have so fucking XX underscore sex lord XX. That's the edgiest name ever created by mankind or some shit like that. I don't fucking know. I'm not really edgy. I'm not really stupid. But yeah. So, yeah, now, now you have it. Okay, so thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.